Our next presentation is a recognition of Christina Bacala. I, pro I apologize mm -hmm. if I pronounced your name incorrect. A Whitby resident who trains with the Oshawa Gemini Gymnastics. Christina is a member of the Canadian Women's Artistic Gymnastics team and was a silver medalist at the Pan American Games in Mexico. I would now ask that Christina attend the dais to be recognized by Mayor Perkins, Councillor M, and Director Lavelle. getting more information. <laughs> You're recognized for the silver team medal, but you've won the bronze medal in the all-round competition and another silver medal for your balance beam performance. Wow, isn't that just amazing? Isn't that wonderful? So you're sharing that experience with everyone. So congratulations to you, to your parents, to your coach, to everyone involved in, in getting you where you have been and where you are going, because I'm sure there's a future here for you also. And uh, I don't think I've ever had the pleasure of congratulating someone in the sport of gymnastics uh, on this dais. So it's a first for me, and I'm very privileged to be able to hang this little medal on you and, uh, and congratulate you on behalf of our community and wish you well for the future. Could I please call up Elena Davidova? First off, I just want to say that it's an honor to be here tonight to be recognized. Um, going to the Pan American Games was an amazing experience uh, representing Canada and also the town of Whitby. Um, I also want to congratulate the uh, softball team and the lacrosse team. I know it takes a lot of hard work to uh, be at a sport of your level. It takes a lot of hours, a lot of dedication, commitment. Um, that's what it takes, so keep at it and hopefully you'll keep doing well with your endeavors. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to thank um, the um, town of Bidby Mayor and Council. It's uh, a uh, big honor for us to be here. Actually, this first time uh, uh, our gymnast was recognized, and thank you very much for Anna Pitti to do that for Christina. She's well deserved that. She's training actually 30, 35 hours a week, and then she never has any time, basically, <laughs> any time off. <laughs> so she's, um, she was um, training about already how many years ever since she was two um, in 15 years and then um, she she went to a lot of she she was numerous time a uh, national champion she went two three times to the worlds and she went uh, to world cups and she had four medals at world cups actually two two gold two silver um, and now um, she, she won to pin in games and she well deserved that and um, also she is um, um, I went to Stanford University she already had scholarship and after hopefully after Olympics that we have we going to go to she's going to Stanford The one thing that uh, that we didn't talk about tonight is the, how much fun everybody has doing their sport, how much hard work it is as well. But there are rewards and opportunities at the end of the tunnel if you work hard enough. And obviously, going to Stanford and getting a scholarship 
uh, is one of those tremendous rewards that, that you've worked very, very hard to achieve. And uh, that's out there for everyone to aspire to, and, and I hope that, that there's many of you in the room that have the opportunity to get uh, post-secondary education uh, on scholarships through your great work and achievements in your sport. And uh, wouldn't that be a lovely help to your parents after their major investment in you for all these years? And uh, I'd like Councillor M to uh, make a few remarks. But uh, one thing that may, maybe you don't know, we're hosting Parapan Games here in 2015. And the Parapan Games are going to be in association with the New Ability Centre that's next to Iroquois Park. And they're going to be hosting the basketball competition. And we're going to be hosting the Parapan Tennis Competition. So um, there's all sorts of really good things in sport happening in our town. And uh, I'd like Councillor Emmett to make some remarks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Perkins. And uh, congratulations uh, to you. Uh, and congratulations to you, Coach, and, uh, and to your family, all the hard work that you've done. And, uh, this is this is wonderful for Whitby. It's wonderful for Ontario. It's wonderful for Canada, and uh, and uh, you must be so proud of yourself. And uh, we we uh, hope that great things uh, come from you. And hopefully, uh, it'd be nice to see some Olympics. I know that uh, um, in the audience we also had there's two medal bearers here tonight, and I, um, Whitby has a, we're getting a history of uh, of medals from uh, Anna Ottenbright and also. Um, uh, Lopez and also Glory Strong, I believe. So um, it's uh, it, Whitby's becoming a great place for medals. This is wonderful. So congratulations again, and I believe the uh, director of Bell would like to have a word Congratulations. Well, once again, uh, on behalf of uh, behalf of the department and the staff who provide the facilities uh, for our for our community, uh, congratulations, Christina. Congratulations to all of the award recipients. As her worship has indicated in 2015, the City of Toronto and the, and the uh, municipalities surrounding the City of Toronto are privileged to be hosting the Para Pan and the Pan American Games. And uh, we have a brand new tennis complex that, once again, Council has invested significant amounts of money to, um, to get ready for the Para Pan uh, hosting that we're going to be doing in 2015. Uh, that's the type of facilities that not only will create the opportunities for today's athletes, but also be a legacy for tomorrow's athletes for, for our community. Congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to you. Not only have you represented yourself well, the town of Whitby, the province of Ontario, but most importantly, Canada. If Jennifer could come back up to the dais to get a picture, that'd be appreciated. Thank you.